Hey guys! Today I want to talk to you about an audiobook that I just finished, which is called Nothing to Envy, Ordinary Lives in North Korea by Barbara Denick. I was originally interested in this book because I listened to another audiobook last summer called Somewhere Inside, which was by Laura and Lisa Ling, who are both journalists. One was captured and held captive in North Korea for a couple of months, and it was a dual narrative about their mutual experiences, one as a captive and one as trying to get the sister home. After listening to that book, I really wanted to learn more about North Korea. I am oddly fascinated by it and its history and its relationship to its surrounding countries like Japan, China, and South Korea. So downloaded this book months ago, only recently listened to it, and I'm really glad that I did. This is not an easy book to listen to, it just in terms of content. Not that it's necessarily graphically violent or sexually explicit, but just in how much these people are suffering. And the book talks a lot about the immediate aftermath of North Korea all the way into about the mid-2000s. This book was published in 2009, so the data is not super up-to-date. It was published before the death of Kim Jong-il, for instance, so some things have obviously changed. Somewhere Inside offered an a glimpse into North Korea and an outsider's perspective into North Korea from the very little that she saw of it. The nice thing about Nothing to Envy is that while told through in a Western lens, it is really about the lives of these people who lived in North Korea and did the first-hand suffering and most of whom defected into South Korea or China in the late 90s. So it, it follows several people, some of them adults throughout this whole period and some growing up in in this type of situation, talking about the poverty, the famines, the work life, the the fear and the censorship, not only the government censorship, but the self-censorship from the people that were so terrified to say anything wrong because one wrong move and you can be sentenced to life in a labor camp. So it's very high stress and I learned a lot about North Korea. I thought it was very engaging. I enjoyed listening to it on audio. I thought the narrator did a really good job. It wasn't read by the author, but she was engaging and I think she was pronouncing things right, which was nice because I don't know much about Korean pronunciation. I would highly recommend this as a place to start just because I learned a lot. I didn't really know much going in and learned a lot about the history and why things are the way they are today and just things that I don't think are really ever talked about in terms of North Korea. People really simplify it and boil it down to that these people are just victims and they're overpowered by the regime, but a lot of them are conflicted about their feelings even after defection. And so I found that, found that a very interesting perspective that I would not have expected, but I was really glad to learn about and I'm very fascinated with this part of history and this country, so I would like to learn more and read more up on it in the future, but I think this is a really great starting point. So I'd highly recommend it. And if you want to listen to something a little bit different on audio, I love nonfiction on audio, and so I think this was a great one. That's about all I have to say about Nothing to Envy. I recommend it, and let me know if you have read it or other recommendations for similar works in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!